इंडिया इज डाइवर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज फूड एंड कल्चर बट डू यू नो दिस थिंग दैट इंडिया इज ऑल्सो डाइवर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ जीन्स हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन फोकस सीरीज ऑफ दिस टी आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे सेशन इज अबाउट जीनोम सिक्वेंसिंग एंड ऑल्सो जीनोम इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट एंड दिस सेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू जी एंस जी एस थ्री परस्पेक्टिव मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन पार्ट so first of all we'll have discussion on news then we are going to discuss about that what is genome then we are going to discuss about genome sequencing then genome india project and why this project is significant for us and then practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to this gis channel moving towards to the news part so before moving to the news part this gis noida address is c171 oblique 2 block a sector 15 Noida and uh, nearest metro station is Noida sector 15. ISGS foundation course is there. Admissions are open in both the medium. If you want to enroll in the courses and if you want to know more information about this TIS, you can call on to the number eight seven five zero one eight seven five zero one. So coming to the news part. So what we can see that Department of Biotechnology has just released. 10000 genome sequencing so there was a there is a data set of 10000 genome sequencing and this is the news which we are going to cover up because they are also going to add up more genome sequencing and they will going to increase the size of genomes so this is 10000 and their target is to do by 1 billion or so this is the thing so now we'll come to the discussion part so what is genome so the genome is the entire set of dna instruction found in a cell and in human the genome consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes located in the cell's nucleus as well as small chromosome in the cell's mitochondria the genome contains all the information needed to develop and function so what is genome so it is a set of dna instruction found in a cell and it is needed uh, an individual to develop and function so this is called as genome now we'll come to the next one which is about the genome sequencing so the human genome is essential an instruction manual we inherit from our parents so you have seen that many features we inherit from our parents suppose that the hair color the eye color the facial features so we already know this thing that various genetic information and genetic thing we copy and we take uh, we inherit from our parents and the genetic information determines everything from person's height to the color or the hair and the eyes so this is the thing so with the help of that the government is also trying to locate the different kind of diseases which is based on the genetics so this is also one of the thing so we have this a c g and t the four bases that come together to create unique genetic makeup for everyone and there are around 3 billion pairs of bases in the complete human human genome so this is about the genome sequencing now here we will discuss it how it is sequenced so to sequence the genome researchers first extract the information from the blood so this is very important that from where they extract the information so they extract information from the blood and handling the entire genome is difficult so what they said they make it concise by studying the small portion and small part so they uh, cut it into the small pieces and tag them and uh, like furniture we do have some sequencing method suppose that if we are uh, setting up a sofa so we have this different different parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, these like that so similarly we uh, made sequence of the genome and we try to arrange it uh, just like any furniture or just like any other thing so this is called a sequencer is then used to decode the smaller chunks of the genetic material and once done it is put together using the tax to create the whole genome so this is about that in this way we uh, sequence genomes now we'll discuss the different uh, aspects of it that genome india project so as i have already told you that india is not just diverse in terms of culture in terms of geography in terms of language we are also diverse in terms of genes and there are different genes in india 
so there are over 4600 distinct population and the genome india project was first approved in 2020 with the aim of capturing this diversity at a genomic level and at this project we can see that 20 different scientific institutions have contributed so various researches from different different uh, universities different different uh, institution came together to study this and to sequence the first 10000 genomes under the project so with everything in collaboration we can see that we are successfully able to announce this data set so further and sequence up to the 1 million genomes so earlier i said 1 billion so it uh, please correct it it is 1 million genomes so here we'll discuss about that why this genome sequencing and why this genome india project is significant so it is significant so first we should know that it uh, help us to identify the disease because many diseases are based on the genetics and it is transferred from one person to another person just like the eye problem we have this diabetes problem and we have various rare diseases uh, which is transferred from one gene to another gene so it will be very helpful in disease identification because we'll have a different set of data and if we'll study different set of data that will show the patterns of the human body and human genes and therapies also so it can support the newer therapies because if we'll have a different kind of data a different kind of information related to the disease based on the genetics so we are able to produce and we are able to find out new therapies for different kind of the problems and then our data set so here you must be wondering that why data set is important so around 135 million genetic variation identified with 7 million unique to india and it helps to detect population specific genetic variations not found in global database so there are a different kind of genetic disease and rare kind of genetic variations rare kind of genetic features which is not found in other parts of the world so it help us to find out the rare disease rare genetic characteristic so population level insights reveals the frequency of disease causing mutations so for example we can here see that my bpc3 mutations so it is 4.5 percent in india linked to cardiac arrest which is not uh, found into other parts of the world similarly we have this lamb 3 mutations 4 percent near madurai causes a lethal skin condition which is also not found in other parts of the world then we have this rare skin uh, rare diseases and therapies so uh, it help us to facilitate to find out the rare disease suppose that whenever we go for a doctor and the doctor is not able to diagnose that what kind of problem one person has but if we have already data and information about all those rare diseases it will be help us to identify and help us to treat that person on time and drug resistant vari variants so different kind of medicines have a different kind of reaction on the different bodies you may wonder that some people have uh, this kind of thing that uh, paracetamol suits them some people said that i feel puking and there is an allergy in my body so it depends upon genes to genes body to body so if we will have information related to the genes and uh, so we can also try that these kind of drug efficiency is useful for this person or not so suppose that in south uh, india there is a vashu community so they are not uh, their body is not much suitable to anesthesia so these kind of researches we can find out through the genome sequencing and genome india project then uh, we'll have discussion on second phase of genome project so now they are trying to increase their database and from 10000 they are trying to do it 1 million so objective sequence genome of individuals with specific disease to compare with the healthy uh, genomes so this time uh, earlier we had that we have to compile and we have to identify different genes but right now we are here to make the difference that uh, we have to find out that which is healthy genes and which is unhealthy genes and we'll study accordingly then it will able to identify different kind of cancers their treatments chronic conditions like diabetes neurological orders so in this way it is very much uh, significant and what is the current status so discussion on going to finalize disease and the number of genomes required for the effective results so this is the target of the second phase of genome project now we'll discuss that 
प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द पी वाई क्यूब प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर योर प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन पी वाई क्यू इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट सो डू सॉल्व इट केयरफुली सो विद रेफरेंस टू एग्रीकल्चर इन इंडिया हाउ कैन द टेक्निक ऑफ जीनोम सिक्वेंसिंग ऑफन सीन इन द न्यूज बी यूज इन द इमीडिएट फ्यूचर सो दिस हैज बीन आज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन जीनोम सिक्वेंसिंग कैन बी यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई जेनेटिक मार्कर्स फॉर डिजीज रेजिस्टेंस ड्रॉट टॉलरेंस इन वेरियस क्रॉप प्लांट्स दिस टेक्निक हेल्प्स इन रिड्यूसिंग द टाइम रिक्वायर टू डेवलप न्यू वेराइटीज ऑफ क्रॉप प्लांट्स इट कैन बी यूज टू डिसाइड फॉर द होस्ट पैथोजन रिलेशनशिप इन क्रॉप्स Select the current answer using the code given below one only two and three only one and three only one two and three. So you have to answer this into the comment section and you have to find out that what is the conclusion of this whole discussion. So we had discussed about the genome, genome sequencing, genome India project, and uh, you have to also find out that is it new to India or is it new to the world that only India has launched such kind of the project or other parts of the uh, world is also working and thinking into this direction so this is a homework for you that you have to find out that which other countries are working into this direction thank you have a nice day for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications